Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are. Stephen Clark here and friends, back with another news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Let's see what's cooking today, shall we? Vietnam's tourists invading Thailand. Good news for Thailand, I guess. American tourist arrested in Chiang Mai for the second time. This guy uh, shouldn't be in Thailand. Very, very nasty customer. Thailand bus road carnage. Four family members dead. Tragic story. So Winnipeg's new airport. This one's different. A woman's family set fire to her because she sold her family's 300 grams of crystal meth. And Mark Loveridge reports that a riot in Thailand that nearly come to a tragic end. And finally, Myanmar's bank new approach to criminals. But first up, Vietnam's tourists invade Thailand. You'll like this one. Tourism Authority of Thailand is looking for a fast growth in tourists arriving from Vietnam, following the expansion of direct flights between the two countries by several couriers. Nepsom Kakai, director of Tourism Authority of Thailand, based in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, said that it will benefit the first-time visitors' market, especially from secondary cities in Vietnam, Thai Vietjet, Thai Air Asia, Bangkok Airways and Vietnam Airlines have all launched new direct routes and added flights from Vietnam to Thailand. Tourist destinations such as Bangkok, Chiang Mai and Phuket. The total number of direct flights has now risen from 301 per week from 288 last year. Moreover, Thai Vietjet is set to inaugurate a new service from Ho Chi Minh City to Utopo with one flight a day. Vietnam has a population of 97 million people. There is still room for growth, the first time tourists said Napa Son. According to the markets based on Vietnamese tourists, in 2018, 107 million people from almost 9 million chose Thailand as their first tourist destination. The main competitor of Thailand with the Vietnam market is South Korea. And South Korea has added more flights as well from Vietnam, 403 to be precise. Also, South Korea has been very successful in promoting its products and tourist attractions such as K-pop and cosmetic surgery services. In the first 10 months of this year, Vietnam tourists arriving in South Korea rose from about 500,000. The Vietnamese economy has been growing very, very well. Besides South Korea, Japan and Indonesia are also strong competitors in Thailand against the Vietnamese market. But the Tourism Authority of Thailand has confidence they will prevail. I'm a real motherfucker. Huh? I kill people. I rape children. I kill faggots. I'm real. I'll fucking kill and rape you too. An American man has been arrested in northern Thailand for allegedly kicking over a public mailbox in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The same man that was filmed last month using racist and nasty language about Thai people. He was also filmed spitting at passers-by and damaging property and generally making a public nuisance of himself. The American man also destroyed a shop window in Chiang Mai. You're going down. You're going down, you coward chick bitch. While ranting vulgar racist slurs at onlookers. His vulgar outbursts were filmed and widely distributed drink. on Facebook. You know why I drink? To fuck you kooks off. I don't drink to be happy. I drink to destroy you. The tourist police in Chiang Mai reported destroyed. they were called to the scene but didn't find the American. They went to his rented house but he wasn't there. He later returned to the scene of the incident and was arrested by Chiang Mai police. Chiang Mai tourist police revealed he was Daniel James Frankowat, 46 years old from the USA. Police also found several CCT footage of him in the Mijo area destroying public properties. Frankowat, who is on a three-month tourist visit, Visa confessed to police over the damage. He, he said he got drunk and could not control himself, so he pushed and broke the public mailbox. Chiang Mai police reported that the crime of damaging public properties is a non compatible offence. Proof would be forwarded to the attorney to be prosecuted in Chiang Mai Provincial Court. The tourist police have also confirmed that the American man has been accused of damaging private and public properties in several other areas of Chiang Mai, 
He is currently in the process of probation, awaiting court judgment. After the cases are prosecuted, immigration police will extract him out of the country. I don't know, this guy needs to leave Thailand. He's not welcome there. I ain't here to fuck with you, man. Four members of a family were killed and eight injured in a bus smash again after a, a hired van they were traveling in in the central reservation of Pechikasam Highway going south in the Prajab Karikan province. The family were traveling on their way from Ratchaburi to Bitong in Yala when the accident happened in Oinoi, a sub-district. It was summarized that the van was traveling at speed down a hill before losing control at a the bend in the highway and hit a tree. It is thought that the driver had what is known in Thai as a lap noi, or in English, a micro-sleep. There are thousands of signs all over the country in Thailand warning drivers to rest if feeling drowsy, and that would save a lot of drivers coming to a dead stop. Thailand's Savannah Bumi Airport, built in, uh, started construction in 2003, opened in 2006 with a design capacity of 40 million passengers per year, is now operating at well, nearly double the capacity, handling up to 200,000 passengers per day. And the loads at peak times are getting a little bit out of control. Any sort of upset in the uh, terminal with scheduling causes all sorts of chaos. To cope with this surge in um, capacity, the Airport Authority of Thailand came up with a plan for a new terminal, Terminal 2. A beautiful designed terminal. It gives the aura of a forest. Very nice, very nice terminal. Unfortunately, the design located the term Terminal 2, the new Terminal 2, not according to the original plan. Um, kind of an out of the way place along the uh, side of the entrance road to the airport near the maintenance hangar. So the uh, Architects Association uh, rejected the plan and the present government supported it to build the um, upgraded terminal as per the original plan. Now here's the new satellite terminal. The original plan called for Terminal 1, Satellite 1, Satellite 2 and Terminal 2. So we have Terminal 1 already. This is Satellite 1 under construction now. You've probably seen this if you've arrived or departed Savannah Bumi in the last year or two. You've seen this construction taking place as the aircraft taxis out. And that's going ahead. It's, as you can see, it's only a satellite terminal, but it's quite huge. There's Terminal 1, there's Satellite 1, all going ahead. It's a beautiful airport, Savannah Bumi. You can see down there on the, uh, the grass heading away from the airport, there down on the grass is um, where the proposed Terminal 1 was going to be positioned. Not the best location. So I congratulate the authorities on uh, the government on sticking to the original plan, which is a um, much more sensible expansion of the airport. Quite smoggy, isn't it? So we can't wait for the new terminal. A 50-year-old woman's own family sets her on fire for selling crystal meth delivery. A woman is recovering in hospital in Hyatt, southern Thailand after being set on fire by her family members who accused her of stealing 300 grams of crystal meth, commonly known as ice, they had hidden near her shelter in a village in Sangla province. The drug had reportedly been left there 
for a buyer to pick up. Malaya Champerman, aged 50, earns money as a scrap metal collector. Her husband is serving time for drug offences. It is reported the group assaulted her, poured petrol on her, while demanding she return the stolen drugs. When she told them she had already dissolved the crystal meth in water, they set her on fire. Malay managed to escape and was found hiding in the back of her truck early the following morning and taken to Hyatt Hospital. The last two years in Thailand has seen a tenfold increase in purity of crystal methamphetamines seizure in Thailand, which is understood to be produced at an industrial scale in Myanmar, in an area called the Golden Triangle, before being trafficked through northern Thailand and sold across the Asia Pacific region, from South Korea to New Zealand. Johnny Siam reporting. Myanmar. Better bank services and remittance licenses. A move to license remittance has emerged since the central bank of Myanmar said it was to stop a vast network of cross-border transactions. With a larger immigrant workforce, Myanmar works workers will have a license to send or bring money into the country. A total of 556,148 Myanmar workers remitted 526.7 million US dollars to their families for the first six months of this year. Official remittance last year was 1 billion US dollars. But in the meantime, not all agree as two masked men decided to make a withdrawal. In Sitwe, the local state-owned bank, at approximately 5.30pm, money from the bank was being transferred to the local police station for safekeeping overnight. But it didn't get there, as the masked men made off with millions of kit. At this stage, there has been no one apprehended. So that's interesting. 